Show you right. Good. What is happening guys and welcome back to a brand new video and what a banger of a video that we have for you today we are breaking records on the channel as this is the longest explore that I've ever uploaded on to YouTube so today we are heading to Wales to explore some of their forgotten and abandoned mines this explore yeah it got a little bit scary I'm not gonna lie as we was exploring for 24 hours straight also this explore was probably one of the hardest explores that I've ever done I mean, it was dangerous, I'm not gonna lie. And if you guys know me, I'm very scared of heights. And we had to overcome a 100 foot ladder. Ugh, just thinking about it now, it's just like, it's still giving me goosebumps, it was horrible. But before we do get into today's adventure, I have something quite exciting to show you guys that the company called E-Movement have sent me. They have sent me their flagship electric scooter. Now this is the scooter that they have sent me. It's called the S3 and it is a full suspension electric scooter. It has front forks, it has suspension in the back. Now as you can see, I'm using the scooter to go over some rough terrain but the suspension really does eat up every bump, making for a really smooth ride. The S3 has a top speed of 15.6 miles per hour, which means you could cover two miles in just eight minutes. Now on a fully charged battery, the S3 is capable of traveling up to 30 miles between charges. Now I'm quite a tall rider at six foot two, and I've read a lot of reviews on other scooters saying that the scooter was too small for them and that they felt like they was hunching over. But not once did I ever feel like that on the S3. The S3 was just the perfect height and it was just very comfortable to ride. Now the S3 comes with some pretty cool features including this very sturdy kickstand. Also the S3 comes with punctureless tyres so you don't have to worry about getting a puncture on your long journeys. Now the S3 has a pretty bright display, displaying how much battery life you have left and how fast you are travelling. Also, the S3 is fitted with a nice loud bell so people can hear you coming. The S3 is also fitted with a rear brake light so people behind you know when you're putting on your brakes. Now it is very simple to fold away the S3. All you have to do is pull the latch, fold the handlebars down and that's it. It's as easy as that. Now I've been using this scooter for just over a month now and my overall thoughts are it is incredible. I mean the build quality, the punctureless tyres, just everything about it. I mean the fact that you've got full suspension so it just gives you that extra ride comfort when you're going along. It's just a great scooter and if you guys are interested in getting your hands on one, I will leave a link in the description to eMovement's website. I mean, they do more than just scooters, they do bikes, they do skateboards. It's just a really good company. Thanks for taking the time to watch this short clip at the beginning of this explore. I know it's something slightly different, but now it is time to get into today's amazing, incredible, the longest explore that I've ever done video. See you guys in a bit. Peace. Seems like forever Since we've been together Oh God, I miss you back Read your letters and look at your pictures. Oh, God, I miss you so bad. It 
It's been so long, I know But I'm finally coming home Till then I'm dreaming of Your heart, your eyes, our love What's happening guys and welcome back to a brand new video. It's been quite some time since I last uploaded but we're back and today we are doing something slightly different. Something I haven't really done on the channel and that's exploring an abandoned slate mine. Now I've seen this uh, mine on another YouTuber's channel and it looked absolutely amazing. But there's one place of this mine that they never explored and that is going down the very, very high ladder. About 100 foot down. I haven't seen anybody go down there. And uh, yeah, I mean, I've come prepared. I've got waders on, just in case it is a little bit wet in there, so I don't get wet feet. Because if you guys remember, the last cave that I did was the car cave. And we got pretty wet down there. So we've come pretty prepared. But yeah, this is the location that we are dealing with today, guys. I think where we are is one of the best locations in the UK and one of the best locations that you can explore. It is so beautiful out here and so scenic. I'm not going to lie, Anthony, from watching your first video of this explore, yeah. I'm a little bit nervous because I've seen just how high the ladders are that you've got to go down. Easily 100 foot. That's, that's not even an exaggeration. I mean, it could be it could be further than that. Oh, I know, exactly. I mean, I, I said 100 foot, but that's going off what someone else said. Yeah, so if you haven't checked out Abandoned Seekers First Explore, I'm going to link it down below. Go check it out, it is amazing. We've also got Net Nick, he's over there. He's, <laughs> I think he's knackered. And his girlfriend, Katie. With the uh, ladder, yeah. I think it's 100. 150 foot? That's what I think. Yeah? And I'm quite good with my depths. Okay. Right. Well, being an absolute uh, uh, rock climber, I should know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is our entrance into the mine, and that is where our adventure begins. Right, here we go. Oh, can you feel that breeze? This was like more hot than last week. Oh, this is cold. Weather. Right, I'm glad I brought the waders. Nick, that shot of you looks so cool. <laughs> right, and as soon as we come in, you can see the tracks on the uh, on the ground where they'd fill the carts up with the slate and bring it bring it out. It is so nice and cool down there. This is the best part of the heat wave. Right? Oh yeah, I can imagine. We love having you here. So yeah, you can just see how far the tracks run. Last time a band of seekers come here, they could hear some very strange whistling. Mums only tell women children. Yeah. There was a really? we were whistling. I 
Cheers, mate. Cheers. Hello. So we just heard whistling. Oh my god, here we go. Wow. Oh, what? <laughs> well, that didn't take long to come across something spectacular. This is a, it is amazing. Damn. Can you see what we make me that? Yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is a pretty big drop as well. Let's have a look up. Just see how high the opening at the top is. Guys, I don't think I'm mentally prepared for this. I mean, about two minutes ago, we were sat in a car, traveling about four hours, and now we're like stood, literally on the edge of like a hundred foot drop. Is that where we've got to go down? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's too dangerous because how wet it is. No, that's fine. It's just a ladder, it'll be fine. Are you sure you're right? Yeah. I'm on the ladder now. Good. Turn around. Turn around. You're like me, mate. You're stuck in the corner there. Well. Yeah. So you can, because you've got the waders on, you yeah. can slide on your ass. Yeah. There's a bolt here. Yeah. Put one of your, one of your feet just to touch, you know, like the, yeah. the sole of it, sideways. Well, I wasn't quite expecting the ladder to be so soon. I mean, we've literally just got to this cave and now we've got to like descend down this like a hundred, how, how, how far would you say this is? Well, over that edge is probably 90 to 100. Yeah. Over this edge, like oh, I'm not prepared for so this, you guys. Can see, mate, the ladder is bolted into the fucking... Yeah, okay. I trust you. Yeah. I trust you. Um, right, Auntie's going down first. Got the climbing rope as well. Obviously, I can't film myself going down because I've got no other way of filming, so I need both hands. So I'll meet you guys at the bottom. So, first obstacle we have just conquered. Just got down that ladder. I've got to admit, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. But now, we've got to get down here to get to the bottom and show you some pretty cool stuff down below. I think there's carts and that down there, isn't there? Yeah, so there's some um, original carts from the mine where they put the uh, slate into and yeah, take to the top of the mine. So a little safety message that somebody has left here, which is pretty cool, is this mine was dived and pushed on the 23rd and the 24th and the 25th of December 2019. No line has been left in place, Paul and Sue M. Just in case somebody tries diving here, and thinks that there is a line here, there isn't. <laughs> That's quite a nice little message, just to save people. One of two things that's happened here, because that wasn't there before. Someone's come here and kicked loads of fucking rocks off, hence the reason why that's all there, or it's had a slip at some point, because all this was clear. Oh, was it? Right, so Anthony just said two thi well, something that he's noticed that wasn't here last time that he came was all this slate that you see at the side of the track. That actually wasn't here. So it just shows you how dangerous these caves actually are. But uh, nevertheless, we're going to go into it, get past this bit. <laughs> and yeah, 
Now it's time to follow the tracks and also Yeah, it's a view of this now. Got a bit see of a, where all the water's running down. Better view of this blue lagoon. And as you can see, this is where all the water is running down from the hills into the mine. And into there. And into the uh, lagoon. Which is absolutely amazing. I mean, when you come here last time, Anthony, it was very sunny. Yeah. And you had the sun beaming down on it, which was pretty spectacular. I'm pretty glad I've got these waders now. Yeah. At least you knew you could jump to your waist. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Oh, you really got to watch your head in places like this. Yeah. Especially when you're six foot two. <laughs> It's getting proper narrow now. What really shows us how much in that uh, this might actually leak as well. Oh yeah. And how much it's dripping. How long do you reckon this goes on for then? <laughs> I don't know, about 30 minutes. Does it? <laughs> so we've got about half walk. got about half an hour walk now guys. I mean I'm gonna cut off now. As soon as something interesting pops up, I'll uh, film it for you guys. Hello? Listen to that echo, ready? Woo! <laughs> oh my god! But yeah, as you can see, this part of the uh, mine that we've come to has some sort of like crane, which again, would have been used to pull up massive bits of slate from the bottom of this lagoon. Now I'm guessing obviously this lagoon probably wasn't wasn't here back then. I don't know, it might have been. If you look there, it looks like there's pumps. Oh yeah. So they might have used that to pump the water out. Yeah, that's very true. Wow. It's really eerie, isn't it? It is so quiet. So quiet and yeah, like, like you just said, eerie. Who wants to see us come back with an inflatable boat and ride down the Blue Lagoon? Yeah. <laughs> right through that little cave there. Oh, I think that'd be pretty damn awesome. Just in front of us, as you guys can see, looks like we've just come across our first like mining cart. Oh wow! It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Check this bad boy out. Oh this is so cool. Oh it's actually machined as well. It's got like a machine on the front. It's, also, it's got a lot of oil still on it there. That could be water. Oh it could be yeah. Inco 21. Please respect this machine. So yeah, obviously any other explorers that come down, you've got to respect what you see in front of you. I mean, now let's have a look at the front of this. The front of it's like a digger. So either that was to like move loose slate when the uh, cart was moving, or, yeah, and that's all I can think that would be. Just to get rid of like loose slate in front of it, to stop it from, uh, yeah, smashing into it. But the fact this is still down here. It's pretty damn amazing. Yeah, incredible. So as you can see, the track runs still for about 20 minutes that way. And it also turns off as well and comes into this area here where Anthony is standing, where we have more like amazing machinery. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 
that goes down somewhere. <laughs> yeah, pretty damn far. Maybe to China. It's just the way you've got the. There's a wheelbarrow down there. Look. Yeah. How eerie is that? That wheelbarrow was used by a miner. Now it's just left under the water for a hundred more years, probably. <laughs> so my question is, is that the reflection here? Is that the reflection of that or is that? Mm, that's a very good... I'm going to say that's a ref maybe a reflection. No, because if you look over there... Oh yeah, there's a bit sticking up, which isn't on above it. Yeah. So you've got a separate and then it just drops. Wow. Look how this thing is just like kept above us. I mean, through the wall. Oh. It's like a massive Meccano set. Have you seen that? This crane was erected by LHJ, JMJ, JB Painter on February the 9th, 1970. Right, I'm just going to show you guys how dark this mine actually is. If our, our torches were to die right now, if we had no torches, this is just, yeah, this is what we'd be dealing with. Ready? Absolutely nothing. So yeah, we'd be pretty damn fucked if we was to uh, lose our torches down here. I mean, I can't even see my hand in front of my face. No, I can't either. That's pretty damn scary. I can even touch my face without even seeing my hand. <laughs> I miss my nose. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty, that is pretty worrying, isn't it? Yeah. When I come to places like this, I try to imagine just the people down there like working and like the noise, I don't know, the smell. I mean, the smell of the slate. It must have been very, very hard to like breathe down here as well. Now I heard like the workers in the mine, if somebody wants to die down there, I think the owners of the mine pay the family the wage of the person that died for the rest of their life. That's what I've heard. I don't know yeah, how true that Katie is. But Katie used to live in Wales, so she knows quite a lot of history about these mines. That's cool. Have you been in there? Um, I don't think you could. Oh, that just goes around to. Ah, okay. Goes off. So uh, yeah, we've come to another like. Uh, look at, oh wow! So that ladder goes up to that wall. Did you go up there? You're not going to risk that. I don't think I'm going to risk that either. I mean, that ladder that I just showed you guys leads to this like path up here, and it goes all the way around to the end there. We're not going to risk it because obviously we don't know how old and how rusty they actually are. I mean, there's one bolt up there which is hanging out of the, uh, which is not even connected into it. <laughs> no, that's a no go. But yeah, as you can see, what's this, the third like yeah. lagoon that we've come to? We're calling it a lagoon, but we don't know what else to call it really. Echo! Wow. And it even says there, wear a safety harness. Now, as you can see, there's electricity that would have um, ran through these mines as well. There's like lights. So it couldn't have been that long ago that these mines were disused. Now, look at that ladder there. The ladder actually goes under the water. So it goes a long way down. So obviously, this water wasn't here when that ladder was it, um, first used. But yeah, right, let's carry on. So as we walk along now, you can see all the metal rods going up through the slate. Now these would have been used to possibly stop the cave from collapsing or the mine from collapsing on top of the workers. Now, I don't know how often while they was working down here that the uh, mine would actually collapse in on them. Also, I bet there was a lot of deaths down there as well. 
And if you're into your ghosts and your paranormal like uh, investigations, this would be a pretty cool place to come to do an investigation. Now look at that little area. Now it looks like there would have been some sort of like doorway or something. Maybe they would have done like some blasts or something with dynamite. Close the uh, door so obviously no slate would fly out and hit the workers. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not an expert on mines. The ground's definitely changed a bit, hasn't it? Yeah. The ground's become like, uh, almost like sand. We've actually come to the part of the mine now where abandoned seekers stopped last time because obviously they didn't have no wellies to go any further and as you can see how flooded it is but we're more prepared now well we say that we don't know how deep it's actually going to get <laughs> so we're going to test it out so this is this part of the mine is unknown to both of us now Ooh, what are you thinking you all right at the moment yeah i mean i can still see the tracks wow it is cold yeah See, you can still see the tracks uh, below us. I feel like my feet are trying to float now. <laughs> this is not what I like to see when I'm in a mine. It, it looks like freshly um, bits of slate that has actually fallen. <laughs> I mean, you don't really want to see that when you're walking around uh, inside a mine. But yeah, like we just said, all of this is like unknown to us now. So I actually thought that you did this whole mine. I didn't realise there was a bit that you... Um... No, this is the reason why I bought wellies this time. Yeah. Because I knew it was flooded. That's pretty cool. But at least it was only that part. Well, at least what we see now is new to both of us. Yeah, but at least it was only that part. Well, at least what we see now is new to both of us. Yeah. Right, so we've actually come to the end of the tunnel now, the end of the mine. But what you can see in front of us now is a ladder. Now, I'm just going to show you how high this ladder actually bloody goes. I don't think I can actually show you. I can't justify just how high. It's because of the rain splashing. I don't think. No, I can't. I can't actually show you guys. Oh yeah, no, I can. So there's one ladder that goes up to a ledge. There's another ladder that goes even higher. Now, without a doubt, that is over 100 bloody foot. Now, we're hoping that's not the ladder that we have to climb down. Because that's one of the reasons that we come back here, is to climb down a ladder. Now, we're hoping this isn't it, and the other ladder goes to somewhere else. But you couldn't pay me a million pounds to go up here. I mean, going down is a different story. Going up, no. There's no way I'm going up there. Look how rushed the ladder is. I mean, look how much water is actually falling down. My camera's probably going to break now. <laughs> that is so cool. And so bloody rusty at the same time. So we have managed to get up the first ladder. And it leads us to like a... Um, it leads us to this little ledge that we're standing on now. I've got a massive dilemma now. And it is starting to freak me out, I'm not going to lie. I mean, what are you thinking about it, Anthony? I'm not thinking. I mean, I cannot put into words, and I'm not going to lie. So, this is... is 100 foot by itself. Yeah, it's got to be, in it? And then whatever that is on top. <laughs> I mean, you know that I'm scared of heights. You guys know. But this will probably be the biggest ladder that I have ever climbed I mean I can't put into words and I don't think I don't think the uh, camera as well can quite show you how high that ladder is and it goes at an angle as well that's what's scaring me <sighs> oh no what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit here for a little while and debate whether to go up or not I want to see you smash that like button right now i mean it's wet so it's going to be slightly slippery i've got slippery wellies on as well 
Oh God. I don't know. Anthony really wants to do it. We haven't driven this far just to walk away. And it's always good to do something once a day that scares you. I mean, oh, we've just climbed this one, which to me was bloody high in itself. Oh God. I can see the bottom of that one. Yeah, you can see the bottom of that one. All right, so we're gonna let Anthony go first. Well, he wants to go first. I mean, this, this was definitely the main reason that he come here. You guys liked this video, got to the number of likes that he needed to climb it. Anthony himself is scared of heights as well, so... <laughs> Man. Yeah. And I feel like I'm going to be more nervous filming you going up. Because I know if something was to happen to you, which is not going to happen, right? No, nothing's going to happen. Right. He's off. Oh, your bag's gonna be a bit of a struggle, I think. Yeah, it's a little bit um, tight, mate. How are you feeling? Oh, my torch is on low as well. My torch. Yeah, I've got another torch, though. You right? Well, well done, Anthony. You actually made it up the ladder. Yeah, you, right. you conquered your fear. And uh, yeah, we both, uh, we both made it. Now nah, we're joking. So yeah, we never made it to the top of the ladder. This is where it goes to. I mean, it's, an entrance. it's just an entrance. And that is the tunnel that we literally just walked down. So, uh, yeah, I think the fear got to us a little bit, um, a bit too much. I mean, I was getting thoughts of, uh, imagine if you did fall. I mean... Then I would have to run out of this cave, while you're like, literally dying at the bottom. Try to find somebody to help us, because we've got no signal on our phone. So we thought better of it, and yeah, we decided just to come up here and show you the top of it. And it is a bloody long way down. Maybe one day we might come back and try to climb it, or maybe climb down it. But well, technically, we've been to the bottom of the ladder because we walked all the way along and then climbed up the fifty-foot ladder and went onto the yeah, true thingy. Yeah. So the only thing we haven't done is this main one. Is climbed this main one, but we've got to the top, so you can see what the top is, and we've been at the bottom, so you've seen what the bottom is. Exactly. Well, I think we should leave this mine now and go on to the next one. Yeah. Ow. Ow. Oi! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's still asleep. Oh, he's still asleep. <laughs> Me, you look like you're sweating it right out there. Footpath. Pedestrians access only. Right, we have come to our second location of the day, and mine, number two. 
this time we're not quite sure where the entrance is so uh got quite a bit of a, a walk I reckon but it's all part of the adventure as you can see there's slate absolutely everywhere both sides of us Whew. we're definitely feeling it from the first explore yeah. well I am anyway I am absolutely ball bagged and I'm just hoping the entrance isn't going up this one of these slate like banks I hope it's easy access easy in easy out but we will see weather's not the greatest today either a bit of drizzle dizzy drizzle right so we've been walking now for about 15 minutes still trying to find the entrance to this uh, mine now We've decided we're going to walk up here to the top there and we're pretty sure the entrance should be somewhere around there. Fingers crossed. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. Legs crossed, fingers crossed, toes crossed. Tell you what, if anything, we've definitely got our cardio in today. <laughs> Well. Oh yeah. Hoo wee. I ho, I ho. It's off to work we go. Oh, guys. When I say that this is probably one of the hardest explorers to get to, I am not even kidding. We've been walking up a cliff for about an hour. Now that's not me exaggerating, that is the God's honest truth. And when we haven't even got there yet, that's that's the disappointing thing about it. But we have come across these like slate buildings, these slate abandoned buildings, which are pretty cool. And it almost looks like something from Silent Hill. I feel like I'm in a, a horror movie now. The mist has come in. You could just see Anthony walking away in the distance. You've almost disappeared, mate. You look like a, a spirit. But yeah, if you guys are interested in what these, what the slate was actually mined for, as you can see, it was used to like, yeah, make these, build these buildings. Slate tiles as well for roofs. There's a lot of use for uh, slate. And like I've said, we haven't even got to the bloody cave yet. Or mine, should I say. This is, yeah, this is really like eerie. My legs are burning. How are your legs feeling, Anthony, after that? My legs. Yeah. My legs feel as he heavy as anything. But this is a quite a little this is quite a cool little uh, find. With the mist, like, it almost feels like we're in like Silent Hill. Yeah. Oh God look at that as well. Some more kind of like pulley systems. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I'm out of breath. I can't think. I just want to get to this mine, explore it. <laughs> oh, you've got to laugh. Or you just cry. Yeah. We've still got a distance to go yet. Aren't we? It's all flat now. Thank God. Well, we hope it's flat. Oh, we have. We've got an actual road to walk on now. Yeah. No more cliff. I'm sorry if anyone watching is called Cliff. I don't affect. I don't want you to be offended. But I hate cliffs. I don't want to see another cliff again. I've <laughs> got to take a picture of this. So we found this abandoned building on the way to the slate mine maybe used to store some slate don't know i mean it's pretty damn it's pretty derelict now but uh yeah thought we'd come and check it out quickly before we actually hit the mine just in case we don't get in the mine we've got something abandoned for you <laughs> right let's go <laughs> 
shortest uh, explore of a building I have ever done. That's what done. We're going home. 55 seconds. Guys, I am hoping and praying that we come to this mine entrance soon. I just feel like I can't walk anymore. <laughs> it's been so long. I haven't done this much exercise for ages. The thing that makes it even worse is it's misty, so it makes it even harder to, to find. Bloody hell. Check this out. Look at the waterfall. I thought I could hear uh, flowing water. <laughs> It's got a raging waterfall right there. That's pretty damn cool. Running all the way down into the distance. It's a weird yellow colour though, isn't it? Yeah, that's true. Hello, mate. What's up? His mate's right next to you, look. Hey. His mate's there, look. Whee! <laughs> hey. Don't look at me like that. You better, yeah, you better carry on walking. Yeah, you better carry on walking. Oh, he's coming over. If he comes over, film every single moment of it. <sighs> so, bit of an update. We may or may not have found the cave. That sheep's still looking at me. Oh, he's huffing now. He yeah, oh, he's coming back. Fuck this, Anthony. That's probably his little den. He's coming back and you don't look happy. <laughs> he does not look... Yeah, he does not look happy. <laughs> Don't you come back, Mr. Sheep. <laughs> oh, he's coming. He's coming. All right. We have finally found an entrance to a mine. After all this bloody time walking around. We don't have a bloody clue where we're going now. This is all... This is like new for both of us so we can either go left which takes us back outside all right. right I'm thinking down here aren't you yeah it can do let's go so this wasn't the entrance guys what I thought I saw from other places some weird noises going on there Wow. Listen to the sort of bloody weird noises in there. Yeah. So uh, I don't think this is the mine that we was actually trying to look for. It's got a little dam. Yeah. But nevertheless. It's a mine. It's a mine. I don't know how much of this we're actually going to explore because it took us about two hours just to find it. <laughs> yeah. Two hours to find this place. And we basically ran out of time. And we're running out of time, yeah, because we've all got our normal lives to get back to. I've got work in the morning. <laughs> but because we fully committed to so much energy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like Annie just said, we fully committed to this now. It took us two hours to find it. Right, we've got some tracks down there, just like the other mine that we was in, which is pretty cool. But not like the other mine, we have not got a clue where, we got where we are going, or what we are going to find, to be honest with you. No. I mean, there's a little area in there, a bit of a tight squeeze, but we're going to keep to the main, uh, main path, or main tunnel. I noticed a lot of the uh, arrows are pointing the other way. Yeah. 
other way. <laughs> it's a sign. Don't go any further. Oh, is it going uphill? Oh yeah. Yeah, look at this. Some sort of vent, yeah, like entrance way. Exploring the unknown. What's that? What is that? Oh god, lost my balance. I haven't got a clue, I mean... Can anybody shine some light on what's really? going on here? <laughs> it looks freshly, uh... Well, I say freshly. Could have been there for ages. I've got the hook, look at the hooks hanging from the ceiling. Yeah. That is the question. I'm willing to walk until we find something cool. Again, another like entrance way. Yeah. It's got writing on this one. Like yeah, it might be graffiti actually. Damn! Boy, this opens up well big, doesn't it? This bit, yeah. Oh, what are you saying? I think stick to the uh, stick to the right. Stick to the wider tunnel. Oh. What's going on? Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Some sort of a tunnel or something there. Or a platform. Maybe they maybe the carts would come through. Yeah. You'd have people on each side to throw the slate straight through, I don't know. Or you don't know. <laughs> We're not miners, we're explorers. <laughs> oh. Right, so as you can see, we've come to a massive like, opening now. Huge, like, cave. It is massive. I mean, I can hear running water. Yeah, and like, like you just said, the, st yeah. the stuff on the wall is reflecting. Do you reckon that might be marble? Oh. You carrying on? It look, yeah, it might be. It's weird though, isn't it? It's almost like that reflective material that you have on um, Hyper's jackets. This, this, room alone is massive. this is weird though, isn't it? Yeah. So you, everywhere, you, oh, look, look how it goes round. Yeah, it goes round that way as well. It's like this way or that way. Let's have a look round here, guys. The track literally comes to an end. Oh. Yeah, oh, it goes somewhere. It goes right down. Is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Jeez. And it goes under. Does it? Yeah, yeah. I, I think our best bet's to go the other way. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Yeah, so, so you go down here, and then it goes, it looks like it goes under. No, oh, okay. Yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna backtrack on ourselves. And we're going to go the other way, see where that leads. And I don't know how much further we're actually going to go. I mean, this is one of those explorers where, I mean, you want to go as far as you want to go, just to find something amazing. 
at the same time, we're on a bit of a time scale now. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, it's starting to get narrow now. I didn't sign up to this. <laughs> this wasn't in the description. Yeah, this one in our contract. It's all part of the fun though. Well, it's very cold down here. There's no wind. Just, yeah, just bitterly cold. I mean, how long do you think it took to dig out this whole quarry? It must have took years and years. And then they just give up and then fuck him. Yeah, exactly. Move on to the next place, which is across the road, but the other side, which is the one that's active now. Yeah, that's true. We've come back to the beginning of this uh, mine. We decided to take the left turn now because it kind of goes out to another outside area. We can see some buildings. Now we had a little peek over the edge when we was quite high up. And it looks pretty cool. Again, we ain't got a clue what's over here apart from a few buildings. I think morale is pretty low at this point. <laughs> Batteries are low. My feet are killing me in these waders. They don't quite fit my feet. But we're carrying on. We're carrying on. I mean, what is that? It doesn't even look like we can go any further anyway. Unless we take a little walk up there. Oh God, I'm all over the place. Do you reckon that was a way in or something? Oh, hang on. Might better go around. Might do, unless it's easier to go that way. Shall I have a look? I'll, I'll sneak myself around here a second. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, Anthony's going to check it out. I mean, this, bu this building there looks like it's been uh, sealed up quite recently. So this could be like the main entrance to the uh, the main mine, or the the bigger mine that we was actually looking for in the first place. We finally found the entrance that we were looking for. This whole time that we've been exploring today, this is what we've come for. My feet are killing. That's no exaggeration. My feet, honestly, are in so much agony. Uh, Sounds like there's a lot of water down here as well. Yeah, it definitely sounds like a lot of water down there. Which is quite nerve wracking. Yeah. yeah. But as you can see, we are descending down. So this mine goes down, so the tracks would go down. The tracks are going the down as well. Down. So, uh. Yeah. This is hard bloody work, guys. Oh, if you could understand just how much my feet are hurting. I mean, I don't like to bitch, and I don't like to sound like a wimp, but they are. So the battery on my main torch has finally died, so <laughs> I have to bring out the reserve. It's not as bright, but it'll do the job. I mean, between us, we've got quite a lot of uh, light. Yeah, hopefully. Right, let's see if we can get to the bottom without falling then. Anthony. Yeah, I mean, you can walk that way. I'll walk on this side. Yeah. All that water, mate. It is rushing, isn't it? That is, yeah. Can you hear that, guys? Oh. Yeah, it's coming from over there, look. Look there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Inside waterfall. Literally. So that's where the water's coming from. Yeah. It's running through from here somewhere, isn't it? Yeah. So I'd love to know what that cable is that runs down there. That goes up into the loop there as well. It's a little bit weird, isn't it? Come across our first uh, mining cart. Yeah. 
in this uh, mine. Ah. Upside down. I don't know, we're going pretty far under, aren't we? Just found a lever switch for the tracks. So if you want the uh, carts to go in different directions, just pull that and the uh, tracks would move. But, uh, oh God, sheer size of this place is making me go dizzy. Oh, wow. There's another cart over there. This is one of them, one of these rooms where I'm scared to stand in case there's like a cliff or something. This is just massive, isn't it? Oh, the sheer size of this route, this site area. No? The old what? Oh yeah. Look, it goes that way as well. Yeah, it's actually just pointed out. We've got the old um, telephone cables as well for communication. Pretty awesome. And then the mine itself carry, carries on going this way. Is that where we're going to go? Um, I mean, we can do it. I mean, it's entirely up to you, mate. We can go. Right, guys, I think what we're going to do is we're going to end the explore here. Time is not on our side. But this is supposed to be an absolutely crazy, crazy mine. So if you want us to come back, make sure to hit that subscribe button, first of all. Make sure to hit that like. If we can get, let's say, 300 likes on this video. If we can get 300 likes on this video, we will come back. Because we, we need to explore more of this. I mean, some of the photographs that we have seen online absolutely incredible it's just very very disappointing that we've walked almost two hours and now we've got to go back so we do have to come back if you've enjoyed the explore so far make sure to hit the thumbs up as well and until next time carry on exploring you beautiful people peace